Right guys, super quick video because some news has just come out that uh, Bloomberg is reporting Apple is looking at doing up to a 32 core and 32 performance core version of the M series chips. For the latest Apple news, rumors and leaks every weekday at 12 UTC, join us in the iCave for their highest end Macs. Now that is probably talking about Mac Pros, um, which is super interesting. Uh, Rennie Ritchie has just put out a video where he was talking about uh, the new Mac Pro itself, but I think he must have done this video, created it, uploaded it, the works, before this news came out because he didn't mention up to the 32 cores. Now that is pretty impressive. That is a lot of cores to be put in into uh you know arm cores to be put into these kind of machines and i know there are out there some 48 core supercomputer kind of arm cores but for apple to be put in that kind of performance especially when you're talking about the level of performance per core that apple has already got out of the m1 series that is going to be absolutely bonkers crazy i do think and i have mentioned this in the past that apple is probably going to try and completely get uh, a full range of computers up with Apple Silicon by the middle of 2021. I know that's ambitious and I know most people seem to think that they're going to actually take the, the full two years that they've mentioned before they've actually rolled out a whole set of Apple Silicon computers. I don't think that's the case. I've said it from day one that two years is literally the date that they stop selling Intel completely. I don't think you'll even be able to probably get refurbished Intel Max at that point. Um, but I think by WWDC, we will know what the entire range looks like. I do think still, I think by March, we will see IMAX. I think we will see the 16 inch MacBook Pro. I think once we get to WWDC in June, that is when we're gonna see a Mac Pro. It might not be ready for prime time at that point. It might be that we see it at WWDC and it comes out September, October time because it might be that they actually release it with cores based on M2 at that point, even though they're actually going to kind of announce it at WWDC, which is honestly what I think will happen. I think that's where they're going to introduce it. They're going to tell everyone, because it's so focused on the pros and the developers, that it will make far more sense to them to go really into the weeds and talk about the very detailed stuff that only they really care about in comparison to the general public. So... I think they will announce it at WWDC. I think it will come with a monster core that is based on M2 and won't release until the M2 Max debut. I think March is going to be a busy month for us. I think we're going to see the iMax. I think we're going to see that 16-inch MacBook Pro. I also think we're going to see the iPad Pros there as well, which will have the A14X chip based very, very closely on the M1 chip. Um, and the M1X will be here in, in March. I think that is what's going to happen. This is a an, an really weird kind of off-the-cuff video. I know um, I think we are going to see another more performant M, uh, M1X style Mac Mini as well. I think that's very, very um, likely. And the stuff that keeps coming through to me today... Um, sorry, my, my iPad's pinging there because another story has just come up, which is about Apple moving to a subscription service for hardware and software. So talking about the iPhone update, uh, the iPhone upgrade program uh, moving over to include some software as well. So potentially Apple One being a part of that. So you pay 50 bucks a month, something like that. You get the latest iPhone, you get Apple One included. Um, and that's kind of what you do. And every year you'll just get the latest phone and maybe they could do something similar for Macs. I still think when uh, we do actually get cellular into the Macs, I do think we're going to get some of the uh, cellular partners actually offering Macs as a, a kind of hardware as a service type thing. So you'll buy your plan through them and you'll also essentially finance your Mac through them as well. Um, and the whole thing come, kind of comes under one uh, number on your bill each month. But that's uh, that's where we are. Um, I know this is a re really random thing to have just thrown out there, an extra video, uh, which wasn't a planned one, but the information has just come out. Uh, I know I'm not in the studio, my son's in my uh, office at the moment, and I don't want to disturb him. So let me know what you think uh, down in the comments. I'd love to know your thoughts. I think we might actually do a live stream tomorrow uh, when the uh, when the announcement happens, which is uh, 1.30 UTC, so maybe start at about 1 o'clock. Let's see what happens. Cheers. Cheers.